Ulte Patil there too. The numbers have looked very good this time, Sonia. Uh, but generally, you know, volatile numbers coming out of Ulte Patil. One good quarter, one bad quarter. Oh yes, and you know that's why you need to see a couple of more quarters of sustainable performance before you take any concrete call on the upside. For now, the numbers have looked good. After many many quarters, we've seen a recovery, that, but the numbers tend to be lumpy, as you rightly pointed out. This time, pre-sales have gone up by 24% year on year. The pre-sales value has gone up by 17%. Some of their properties, uh, you know, in Pune have done quite well. Uh, the likes of uh, IV. You have the Vakar property as well. The Three Jewels property and Life Republic have all contributed to the earnings this time, and the collections have remained pretty healthy too. So overall, revenue growth of 24%, EBITDA growth of 20.7%, margins uh, have remained stable, and the profits have gone up by 54 percent. For the first half of the year, the bookings have been very strong. So the pre-sales in the first half have gone up by 29% year on year, coming in at 1.23 million square feet. We spoke to the management just a couple of hours ago, and they indicated to us that they will maintain their uh, uh, guidance, a full year FY17 guidance of 2.4 million square feet, which means that in the second half of the year they will also manage to do about 1.2 million square feet, which is not bad considering the demonetization has de hit demand quite a bit. They don't seem to be. Perturbed. So let's listen into what the management had to say. First half we did around 1.23 million square feet, and 90% uh, of our customers are end users and dependent on the home loan cases. So we see going forward, uh, short term you can see some sort of impact uh, because of demonetization, but in a mid and long term you can see uh, the same set of sales momentum can be maintained easily. All right then, let's get on.